What I love about this character is that she's so multifaceted, and I like to consider myself that. I think she is um, intelligent, but yet she has great strength and brawn. She's also a mother, you know, um, and she's sort of juggling her career with her motherhood. I certainly relate to that aspect of who she is. Hallie, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Um, so I want to ask you this first. In Moonfall, uh, your character, Jacinda, is very strong, very intelligent, and always fights for us right. Do you, uh, how much do you see yourself in Jacinda? I, I think I fought for what's right, you know, in this mm -hmm. life. Um, I think what I love about this character is that she's so multifaceted, and I like to consider myself that. I think she is um, intelligent, but yet she has great strength and brawn. She's also a mother, you know, um, and she's sort of juggling her career with her motherhood. I certainly relate to that aspect of who she is. Absolutely. And in the movie, you play an astronaut as well as a authority figure of, Na of NASA. You know, after doing this film, do you have a desire to do any space missions like most uh, some celebrities have done recently? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay here on Earth and scooter around. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame it at all. But how is it um, for you? How is it working with John Bradley and Patrick Wilson? It was fantastic. You know, we the downside is we did this movie in the height of the pandemic before vaccines. Everybody was has max suited up, you know, shields and double masks. So we didn't have a lot of time to physically be together outside when we were actually on the set and Roland would say, Shh, you know, action. And that part of it, I really missed. You know, we didn't get to have dinners and lunches and like what actors do, we always hang out and chop it yeah. up. We didn't get to do much of that. Um, but we did have a wonderful time, to, you know, together. I think we all felt grateful that we were working during this time when so many people were not working, movies weren't being made, and here we were, you know, able to make a movie with someone, you know, like Roland, which was exciting. And speaking of Roland, he's known for his disaster movies like Independence Day, The Day After Tomorrow, 2012. Were you a fan of his? Have you watched any of his movies beforehand? Yes, all of those movies. And Midway also. I've been a, Midway, a huge yeah. fan of his movies. Yes. So I was really excited to, you know, finally be in one of these big spectacle movies that I've always loved to watch so much. Absolutely. And uh, not too much time left. So the last question for me before I let you go, um, you're known for playing these strong, uh, strong characters like Jacinda in Moonfall. But one of your most iconic characters, Catwoman, is now being <laughs> played by uh, Zoe Kravitz in The Batman. Um, what advice do you have for her as she goes forward? You know, just be courageous and bring her own interpretation to the role. I think she's going to be a, an amazing Catwoman. And I can't wait to see, you know, what her interpretation of that is. No doubt about that. Hallie, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Congratulations on the movie and continued success to you. Patrick, how are you doing? I'm good, buddy. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you. Uh, so I want to ask you this first. Uh, in Moonfall, Brian Harper is a skilled astronaut, but throughout the movie, he has some challenges he has to deal with. So what's the one thing you like about playing this type of character? Um... Well, I like that he's successful at the end because uh, <laughs> he spends most of the movie kind of falling apart and making bad decisions. Um, so, yeah, I like when he pulls himself together. That's good. Absolutely. You got a chance to work with a talented cast. Uh, what was it like working with uh, close with Halle Berry and John Bradley? You know, those scenes in the cockpit were probably the most fun because they were the only times we got to take our masks off and actually see each other because uh, yeah. you know, we, 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 we shot this in 2020, as you can imagine, and uh, it was a much different world then. Uh, so anytime we would, we would uh, be, they would yell cut and we had to leave the set, we would go off into our little corners and quadrants with things up and you just sat in your own little bubble by yourself. Mm. Um, so we actually really loved being able to be in the cockpit because it was the only time we could actually just hang out. Cause once you got all strapped in, they weren't going to unstrap you for the next take. So it was an absolute blast. They both are obviously so, so, so different, but such fun. It was a fun, eclectic group of people. We had a, we, and especially the scenes with Hallie and, and I, we were able to um, really uh, spar and go back and forth. And, and that takes a tremendous amount of trust. Um, and, and because we didn't know each other very well, it mm -hmm. was like, 
instant relationship. You just have to dive in. Um, so luckily we, we both were gamers, you know, and she was, she was just incredible to work with. Awesome, man. And not too much time left. So the last question for B before I let you go is uh, you're known for your conjuring series and insidious you're directing the fifth insidious movie. Um, how was that experience like, and what can fans expect from this new film? We haven't started filming yet. We are oh, okay, okay, in pre-production now. Yeah, we just we just got our script together and looking at locations now, and we'll start shooting that in a few months. Um, yeah, it's a much different different feeling, but um, but I you know I love all sides of filmmaking, so it seemed like a natural progression for me, and um, uh, I, I have to imagine I'll probably do more of it. Um, and it's also a chance to be in one place for a long period of time. So, cause I'm tired of going away. I'm tired of shooting <laughs> in other places. So I'm, I'm happy to shoot at home. Of course, man. I'm looking forward to that film. And I know fans are going to be looking forward to Moonfall because it comes out very soon. Uh, Patrick, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and continued success to you. Thanks, Brian. You too, buddy. Take care. John, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks, Brian. How's it going, man? Pretty good, man. Thank you. Um, So I wanted to ask you this first. In Moonfall, your character, Casey, is very smart and knows a lot about space. So what was the biggest challenge for you when it came to researching your character? It was, um, yeah, I I, I did as much research on space as I possibly could. Of course, it's such an enormous subject and you're never going to learn enough about it to match Casey in terms of his own knowledge. So yeah. What I tried to work on most was was that energy, and it seems to be appearing more and more lately. This energy of I will I won't listen to what anybody else has to say about this. I know I'm right. I'm not going to listen to any anything that I don't like. And if you don't believe me, you're just going to have to because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump yeah. off this horse. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it till the very end. And you know a lot of that a lot of that's damaging, and a lot of that's there's rights and wrongs to that. But it was that energy that I wanted to invest something in that that total conviction that 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 bullish thing where he's not going to be stopped and he's determined to he's determined to to get this idea through to people and yeah i i I researched figures like that these these very very opinionated very passionate people and hopefully some of that fed into kc of course and with you learning about space and uh, filming moonfall do you now have a desire to do a space mission yeah, I think so. I, I, I mean, okay. I mean, I, I remember, I remember before we started shooting, we had astronauts on set, and we did some zooms with astronauts. And I, and uh, one of the first thing I said to to the guy, I said, uh, if if you're not trained for this, and you went up into space like KC, he's not trained, but he finds himself in space. How long would it be before you found it absolutely terrifying? Mm-hmm. And he said it would be instant. As soon as you get in the rocket, as soon as you, if you're not used to it, as soon as those, as soon as that engine kicks into life, you're going to be scared. So I would do it. I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit safer because I'm too much of a, I'm too scared at the moment, but it's bound to get better one day, right? Then I'll do it. I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. No doubt about that. And uh, not too much time left. For the, so the last question for me before I let you go is uh, most people obviously know you from Game of Thrones, but, and with a prequel series coming out, uh, people are going to be looking forward to that. But would you be uh, willing to come back as your re- Sam Well character if they were to do some type of a reboot? Yeah, I think I would. I think I would. I, we all played the, our characters on that show for, for such a very long time. But when we said goodbye to them, it felt like we were abandoning them almost. I mean, I you know. I sometimes I lived as Samwell for 10 years. I, I got to know him so well, got to know his hopes and fears and dreams. And then one day you wake up and you just don't have to think about him anymore. And that was a strange feeling. I, I just want to know what's happened to him. And I'd, I'd love to know what he was up to. And you, it just felt like we were turning our backs on these. It's like turning your back on an old friend. You get to know them so well and suddenly they're not in your life anymore. So I'd love to go back and revisit him one day and find out what he's been up to in the last few years. That'd be lovely. Roland, how are you doing? Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Moonfall, it comes out very soon. And it's interesting because it it's, has a very intense and interesting storyline. So what made you want to make a movie uh, about the moon crashing into Earth? Well, first of all, you know, I read a book called Who Built the Moon, mm-hmm. which uh, really inspired me in a way, you know, because I said, oh, my God, you know, this thing is could be built. And even uh, 
yeah, yeah. And then I, 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 I then kind of thought, you know, how can people find out? And then it's clear that it has to be falling to earth because through that you find out that it's actually built. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I went from there. Absolutely. And when it comes to a movie like this, where there's a lot of action, a lot of suspense, and it goes in depth into talking about space and the moon, uh, what was the biggest challenge that you faced while filming this movie? Well, first of all, make the actors believe they're like sitting in a real shuttle. <laughs> that was like kind of not so easy. Oh, and, of course. And then, and then uh, I think we had, um, you know, the problem that we had this swarm and it was made by two companies and it, it was like kind of just never mix. And uh, and then we like uh, worked really, really uh, uh, diligently on how this thing should look because it's like it, it was a relatively late addition to how it really looks, you know, uh, how it mm-hmm. really has to, uh, you know, like kind of be a being which you haven't seen before. What was it like? Because it was filmed in 2020. What was the challenges that you faced while filming during the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, I had to conceive that film actually before, before mm-hmm. there was a pandemic. And I kind of started preparing it. And after two months, they call, all of a sudden called it all off and sent mm-hmm. us home. And, you know, and we were like kind of four or five months, you know, sitting around hoping that the movie keeps going again and then we got lucky and it was nearly a miracle and then we shot the movie but it was super super hard to shoot this movie during covid times because it's like uh, you're not even allowed to go closer to a, a character you know which is like uh, six feet apart from you Right. That, that has to be challenging. And the last question for me, before I let you go, is you're known for your disaster films such as Independence Day, Day After Tomorrow, 2012. Um, do you have any ideas for your uh, next disaster movie? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, like they, they, you have to space them out, too. I mean, right. I made maybe like uh, every, you know, uh, other decade or uh, a disaster film. Definitely going to be looking forward to it. Roland, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Uh, Good luck on the movie and continued success to you.